Hey guys, it's BD Rod, it's Chris Tomer. Let's talk some mountain weather in this morning update. We'll start in Montana, where this fast northwest flow, as expected, delivering some snow. That's Big Sky reporting six inches in the last 24 hours, and you've got more to go. This is going to be a good stretch for Big Sky. Um, Discovery, Bridger Bowl, all the way down into the Tetons as this fast northwest flow will eventually pivot and the whole pattern is going to drop south. Let me show you my uh, bullet points here. Um, so it includes the fast flow, then the pattern shifts south about on or after 128. The whole thing and the jet stream will start to move south and then that will uh, start to snow on the central Rockies and then eventually California is included and then the southern Rockies will get snow by the end of this thing with the main storm kind of tracking to the south. In the northeast, there is a storm um, that will roll in today into the 26th, and then potentially there are a couple of other clippers with a fast flow and maybe a storm system itself by the end of the period into very early 2-1, 2-2, somewhere right in there. So it's a pretty fast active flow for the northeast um, starting today. Um, and continuing into the early days of uh, February. Let me show you what um, the uh, radar or the, uh, yeah, the satellite looks like here. So this is water vapor. Oranges and reds are going to be your drier air. Let me just mark the, uh, the key features so you can see it. This big low right here. There's another low behind it. So things are starting to get stacked up. Looks like there might be a, some sort of a disturbance right here. And there's your low heading into the northeast. So everything's riding this fast northwest flow curling down over the northern Rockies and then of course you've got your big trough out to these to coddle and support um, a series of storm systems so there's also a high pressure and the key here with this high is it's going to retrograde in this direction and what will happen is while we're getting disturbances right now that run down this northwest fast northwest flow this whole flow is going to shift west and then we're going to get a trough that settles in across the west coast and that's going to guide the forecast into 2-1 and then there's going to be a quiet period like late 2-1, 2-2, 2-3, 2-4 a drier period before some active weather returns after that. Let me show you the jet. By the time we get into 2-3, this is a pretty quiet pattern here on 2-3 um, with most of the energy having moved away from the Rockies, waiting on the next batch, the next low, which is sitting out over the Pacific. So we're kind of in that quiet slot on 2-3. But then after that, the low, the little trough you can see moving in with the jet streak, would hit California and then eventually move in to the west. Um, it would become more active after that. But So you've got an active period now, and then a quiet period, and then another active period. Let me show you what the future uh, radar and satellite, the forecast radar and satellite is going to look like. So this is, uh, here we go, Thursday morning at 6, still energy sliding down the northwest flow, the fast northwest flow. But here comes the main reversal, the big pivot. Here's 128. Whole thing drops down. California starts to get snow. And then this uh, storm takes a southern track and brings all that snow through Arizona and also uh, New Mexico, southern Utah, in Colorado. That's Monday the 30th, so the whole thing would continue through into 2-1, and then we'd get that dry period. Late 2-1, 2-2, 2-3, 2-4, quiet period, and then eventually the pattern would turn more active again. Let me show you what I'm thinking as far as snow totals go. So all of today through the 27th, big totals on the way. Big Sky, Grand Targhee, Jackson Hole, and the uh, northern mountains of Colorado. Um, I like Steamboat, Cameron Pass, Buffalo Pasture, and for about a foot during that, uh, that period um, with this fast northwest flow. Then we get the pivot, and this is 128 through 23 big numbers continue. Another uh, foot, foot and a half in the, uh, the Wasatch, uh, a foot, foot and a half, I should say. And in Colorado, we add another foot in a lot of places. Um, a lot of western slope locations get another foot, so this is going to be a good period. So you've got the fast northwest flow for Colorado initially, and then you've got the pivot storm um, for later in the period. Um, and California starts to see snow as well as the whole thing shifts to the south. Here's a specialty map. Um, grand totals, 125, all of today through 2-3. You can see the biggest numbers are in the northern mountains with about two feet up there, and then about a foot along I-70. Um, so again, that's a grand total. 
during that period. Let's talk about the Northeast. All of today through the 3rd, so you've got a storm today, tomorrow, that drops the bulk of this, and then a couple of different clippers um, during the later period, plus potentially a storm system on or around the 1st of February. So uh, you're looking at 1 to 2 feet here, but it's over the course of like 9 days. Uh, but no doubt tomorrow will be potentially a good powder day, and then maybe there's one more day down the road. All right, guys, that'll do it for this morning update. Always appreciate you tuning in here. Take care. Have a good day.